SharePoint Designer 2013 workflows ship with a lot of new enhancements. Here I'll be showing you some of those new capabilities such as stages, the copy paste functionality and also the visual designer that lets you design and configure the workflows in a visual design. In this example I'll start by making a list workflow on the announcements list. It's going to be called announcement approval and it will be a SharePoint 2013 workflow. And when the designer space starts up, it's going to have a stage, which I would strongly recommend you change the name of. I'm making it starting. And here's all different actions that are available for this workflow. Lots of different actions. The one that I care about right now is going to be setting the workflow status. And that's just going to show up. The status is going to show up in the list or library as a column. So in this case, I'm calling it starting simply. So the person would know that the workflow is starting. And I'm putting a log message in there after the starting statement. It's going to be logged to the history of the workflow. Another action here, this is going to be assigning a task. So I want to make a new task for a person. And the activity looks like the following. First, I can assign the participant. In this case, I'll do a lookup to find the person named Garth. When I find him, I'm going to go ahead and assign him this task. And the task title specifically is going to be to approve the announcement. And the description I'll allow here to let him know that it is required that he approve this announcement. After that, I'll move forward to the task options and say, wait for this task to complete. Then in the task creation, there's an email editor that I can use to define exactly what email that I want to be sent. And here it's going to say that you have a new task assigned by and then the actual person who assigned the task. That person's name is going to be in the workflow context as the initiator. And I want to bring back the initiator's display name. Correct. So that's what's going to be in the email that's going to get sent to Garth Fort. The options for the outcome, there's only a couple to start with, approved and rejected. But you can change it if you wanted to, to have more, because it is a site column and the site. Now, before I do the transition for a stage to a different stage, let me go ahead and make a new stage. And this stage will be named Approving Announcement. I need a couple of actions from the prior stage. So for that, I can just go ahead and select them holding down the shift key and then actually just copy them just like that. Either control C or using the copy icon and the ribbon and then using the paste icon, I can go ahead and paste it or control V. And then I can go ahead and change the actual properties. And here I'm going to change it to approved. And then also the log statement is going to say workflow is approved. Now for the transition stage, I'll start typing in go to and then here are my options. End of workflow is what I want in this case. I'm going to go ahead and take this whole stage now, select it, click on the copy and then paste it down below. When doing so, it's going to say that an exact stage exists and it's going to name it stage three or the next stage number, which is easy to go ahead and change the name of the stage now to rejecting announcement. Once again, you can go ahead and change the status, the log workflow appropriately to reject it. And there it is. And now it's going to have the same effect as previous. It's going to go to end of workflow. For the first stage, I need to put a conditional format, a conditional statement here saying that if, if the actual outcome, which is under the workflow variable, is approved, then go to the first approval stage. So the outcome, of course, comes from the task. Once again, if it's not, then go to rejecting announcement. There's my workflow without any errors, so that's great. I can go ahead and publish it out, which as you know, it's going to go to the announcement list. Another thing that I can do is go to workflow settings and change some settings here. And I'm going to go ahead and have it so the workflow starts automatically when an item is created and then republish the workflow. 
Now I'm going to go to the browser and then to that announcement list specifically. First I need to go to the correct site, then go to the announcements list. And then here, need to make a new announcement. I'm signed in as myself, Asif Ramani. And the new announcement here is about the cafeteria menu. I'm going to be serving all veggie items. Okay, so that's the new announcement, correct, that I created. All right, here it is. It says the workflow starting. Assigned to Garth Fort. Perfect. So if I go to a different window now where Garth Fort is the one who's signed in, I'm going to look at his inbox to see that if he actually got that approval announcement email. There's other emails that he has. Wait for it. And here we go. Here's a new announcement that comes in or the new email saying new task assigned by Asif Ramani to approve the announcement. When he clicks on it, he gets to the announcement or to the task specifically, and then he can click on edit to edit the task and then either approve or reject this particular task or this particular announcement. In this case, he'll go ahead and approve it. So the task is done. Going back now, let's see what the history says here. So it says starting. Now it says completed and approved for the task. Now if I refresh again, the whole workflow has been approved. Going back to the announcement list, same thing, workflow has been approved. The announcement has been approved, I mean. Now back in SharePoint Designer, if I go to edit the workflow and click on the views button, see what happens. It's actually making the shapes, stencils, and everything else to show me a different view of this workflow. Before, of course, currently I was seeing the code view or the configuration view. Now I want to see the visual view. So here it is, completely configurable here as well. That's my Visio diagram of the workflow.